Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jimbo and in today's video, we're going to be talking about ceramic coatings and more specifically how to ensure that you get a perfect install on your ceramic coating every time. We're talking no more high spots, no more surprises when you wheel that car out into the sun and you see all your mistakes, no more. In this video, I'm going to show you three tips how you can ensure that you get a perfect install every time. Right, so for the first thing that you really want that is really most important is you want as much light as possible. So I'm talking, I want, uh, I have my scan grip light up here that's giving me kind of my direct light to make sure that I've corrected the paint as much as uh, I wanted. But I also have separate overhead light and I even have a little natural light coming in from the bay door because when installing a coating, you really want to make sure you can see all your high spots or so not only your high spots, but that you got full coverage. So once I kind of have my light adjusted, I have it on an adjustable light stand, again, multiple light sources going on, then and only then I'm ready to start applying the coating to the panel. I've obviously prepped it properly. So, and then the second thing you're gonna wanna use is this applicator. So this one's from Auto Fiber. I hate the suede, uh, what do you call them? Like the suede uh, things that go over the block, whatever they're called. And I love this applicator. This is called the saver applicator because it has this plastic lining on the inside of the applicator. So why is that important? Because you're going to have more of the product stay on the surface of the applicator, which means you're going to use less product, but also as your applicator becomes more and more primed, it's the spreadability of the product is gonna be much more even and you're gonna be able to work bigger panels if you choose, but really you're gonna be able to get more product down onto the panel and you're not gonna have it absorbing into the applicator, which is really essentially at the end of the day, just losing you money because it's eating up the product for no reason, hence the name saver applicator. So. Once we apply the product to the applicator, again, we have all the sources of light going, and then we could apply it directly to the panel. And again, as you kind of sit on a stool, I like a rolling stool because you can kind of see around and move around as you need to, but you can apply it just like that. And again, a lot of the product is gonna stay on the surface of the applicator. So essentially, as you move through the car, you're gonna use less and less and less throughout the whole car. So after that, you let your coating set up and do whatever it's gonna do, rainbow. And then normally you will have, I like to have this like ladder that I use for other things as kind of my worktop bench. I guess that would be another tool or tip to make sure you have everything kind of set up around you uh, so that you can just kind of pivot and you don't have to walk away from somewhere, you don't have to move around too much, you have everything that you may need right uh, at you. So another thing, another tool that's been really useful that I actually kind of thought was a little gimmicky at first is this. This is the auto fiber towel that it's actually numbered. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that side's a little dirty because I actually used that once. Um, and why it's numbered is when you fold it, you can know exactly what side <laughs> of the towel you're on. Why is this important? As you wipe off the coating and it smears a little bit and starts to move around the surface, that side, so in this case, side number one becomes saturated. You could flip over to side two, which is now a fresh side and it helps remove the rest or the remaining residue the remaining coating residue, and then boom, you're done. So then when you go to work, the next section, what I do, I will still use the side one for my first wipe like I just did, and then again, flip to side two, and then you're good. And then you can flip over to three or four, because the problem is traditionally, if you're using Costco microfiber towels or microfiber towels that are the same color, as you are focused on applying the coating and making sure you don't have those high spots, you forget what side of the towel you're working with, right? Because it's not numbered and it, it, the towel's all the same color. And so I really noticed having a uh, numbered towel not only helps with the install process to go a lot smoother, um, but I'm actually using a lot less towels as well. So 
um, because I'm not kind of getting confused with what side of the towel I'm working with. I don't have to have like three towels going. Um, I can do a lot of work with just one towel, flipping it, um, and then knowing what side I'm on. And then once this full towel gets saturated, I could flip to a brand new towel. Um, but again, it saves an incredible amount of time, makes it so you don't have to think about your towel, you can think about the coating install. Um, and so all these tools combined together make for a really seamless uh, coating install, but also make for a really uh, fast coating install because you don't have these other factors that you have to worry about. So these are my three, at least, favorite tools when it comes to installing a ceramic coating. All right, so what do you think about these tools? I know they're very primitive, but they're very uh, impactful. So uh, let me know in the comments below. Here's what I wanna hear. Your coating, your ceramic coating install horror story. So have you ever had an install that you thought just went flawlessly, but maybe you didn't have enough light on the situation? You were using one of those suede kind of applicators over a block and it was getting all messy, or you couldn't remember which side of the towel you flipped on but you thought you had it down perfect until you pulled it out in the sun and then you saw your high spots everywhere, or maybe you forgot to level with the towel. I had a client do that to me one time. Anyway, in the comments down below, I wanna hear your, your ceramic coating install horror story. And on your way down there, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.